In this After Effects tutorial, we will review kinetic typography. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we got a great beginning tutorial on kinetic typography. And I talked about kinetic typography being one of the things that you should know how to create inside of After Effects in my recent uh, top 10 video. But in this video, we're just gonna explore how to create kinetic typography. There's a lot of ways to do kinetic typography. Uh, but in this one, we are going to do kinetic typography to uh, reveal what we're talking about in our voiceover. So in this video, we'll just be doing, we'll be editing to voiceover. So let's go ahead and get started. Here we are in a new composition. All we have in here is our audio and a little background in here. And if you want to bring up your audio levels, just select the audio layer and hit LL on your keyboard and you'll see the audio waveforms. And that's gonna be very important to know uh, when there's gonna be specific words being said. So just keep that in mind. The first thing we need to do is type out our text and I have our script right here, which is in this After Effects tutorial, we will review kinetic typography. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just copy this and we're gonna go into our text title tool over here and we'll click here and just uh, paste it all right in there. And we'll just go come here and just bring this down to where we can see all of our text. So we need to break up all these words into its own layer. So let's grab the textile tool again and let's select everything except for the one word in and let's copy what we have selected and let's delete it. And then we select out, if we jump out of here, we see that in is isolated. So then let's go and hide this layer. And then let's go to the text title tool again, click here, paste what we've copied. Then we'll come here and we'll copy everything except for the word this, delete it. And then we have the word this by itself. And then same thing again, text title tool, and we will paste everything except for the word, uh, or copy everything except for the word after, delete it. And we'll, come, we'll go through this entire process until every word is isolated by itself. So now I've isolated all the text, and we need to start off with our first segment. So let's go ahead and hide all of our text ex except for the words in this. So, you know, font choice is extremely important when you want to have visual uh, typography. So I'm using the font Frutiger, which is a uh, paid font, but uh, there's a ton of free fonts out there like Lotto, Gotham, uh, and check out like sans serif fonts because that's really a popular, I guess, uh, font for, uh, or font style for connect typography. But font choice is very important, and especially if it has uh, multiple options like light, bold, and black sort of uh, text styles, that will help uh, you know get through to connect typography a little bit faster. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to position the word in and also this in, in a way where we would like it to be. So let's maybe scale both of these up, and I have both of them selected. I'm just scaling it up by the you know type over here on the right, and then you know we'll just come here and just put this in a nice little spot where we would like this to be at. Maybe I'll enable title safes. Enable title safes, come here and turn on title action safe. And we'll just put this in a nice little spot. Maybe we'll continue to scale this up, make me make this font a little bit bigger. So we'll consider this is where we want it to be. And let's go ahead and start animating. So grab the first word in our uh, line here, hit P to bring up position. Uh, add a keyframe for position here. Zoom into your timeline. Let's move this keyframe forward in time by just a few frames. And let's just have this shoot off you know, from the left side of the screen. So now this will kind of animate on just like that. And let's make our last keyframe here uh, easy as a keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And then for this, hit P on your keyboard just at the last keyframe here. Add a keyframe for position. Bring that keyframe uh, backward in time or forward in time, sorry. And bring that uh, off screen just like that and make the last keyframe an easy as keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now if we take a look here, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear the audio but if we just scrub this through this, after, wow. In this after, in this after. So that's kind of how you can come through here and scrub through your uh, animation and see if it matches up with your voiceover. So we'll assume that's okay. And I'm not gonna really primarily uh, focus so much on the uh, audio in this video, but that's how you have to uh, review what you're doing is just go back and forth playing the clip after you animate to see if it matches up with your voiceover. If it doesn't, just, uh, you know, play with the keyframes, you know, offset them and make them match up. So now that we have our first line here done, let's go and animate our After Effects. But first, let's go up to Layer, New, Null Object. And let's uh, call this one uh, Text Control 1. And let's grab our In This Text and parent it to the text control here. And once 
we go to the last keyframe here and let's hit P on our keyboard, hold down shift and hit S on your keyboard so you can bring up two properties at once. And we'll add a keyframe for this control. We'll move forward in time just by a few frames. We'll scale this down just by a touch. And then we will position this downward just by a little bit, maybe right there. We'll probably come right back to this. So now this will just, both these words will animate down. And then let's enable after effects or our next words in our sequence. And let's just position these to where we will like them. And then we can animate after effects in just from the, uh, maybe from a position perspective, add the keyframe, offset it, move it, you know, off to the side here and grab the effects here. You know, go to the end keyframe of after, hit P, let's position this off as well. And it's just a quick way to get through, you know, easy typography. So you can build this fairly quickly. So some things to think about, and then we'll get into some more advanced concepts here in a second. Let's go and add another null object, and we'll call this one text control uh, two. Let's parent text control one to our new null object, and then grab the words after effects, or the words that were not parented to text control one, and parent it to text control two. So now, once after effects animates on, then we can hit, um, you know, maybe R, Shift, P, and S on our keyboard to bring up the position scale and rotation. We'll add a keyframe for each of those parameters. We'll move forward in time just by a little bit. We'll rotate this, you know, maybe by just negative 90 degrees. We will scale this down and maybe we'll just position this right over here. Maybe we'll bring it down just by a touch. Maybe like that. So now, this will just kind of fall in place like this. Okay, and then we bring up our word tutorial and let's come here to the align tab and say we want this to be in the center. We can just come here and center this up by using the center buttons here. And then we can come back to our uh, text control two layer here and just position this uh, where we would like this to be. So maybe we want this to be, come on like right here or something like that. And since I'm extremely lazy, I like to use presets. And I just want to show you guys that there's a ton of great presets here inside of After Effects. So you don't always have to recreate the wheel. So I'm going to come here, go into the animation presets, go into the text uh, folder, go into the animate in folder. And I'm going to grab the preset drop in by character. And I'm going to just drop this right on top of the word tutorial. And we scrub through here. You see that each of the letters just kind of fall in here. And let's hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Let's bring these keyframes extremely closer together. So it's only like just a few frames apart. And we need to go ahead and expand the tutorial here. And as you can see, there's a position parameter here. And all we have to do is just bring this up. So if we just position this up, you'll see that all the letters will still drop into place and it starts off frame, which is extremely important. Okay, and then once again, let's create another null object and let's call this one text control three and let's parent tutorial to text control three and text control two to two uh, text control three. So let's parent both of those. And then we can bring up the rotation and the scale Add a keyframe for both of those parameters, you know, uh, move forward in time, rotate this you know, maybe like this here by like negative 90 degrees and maybe bring down the scale. And then also maybe we want to animate the position. So add a keyframe for the position values and we can just come here offset it. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of fly through this a little bit now. So I have uh, the text we here and it's already animating in. It's just gonna drop in right there. But let's hit, go ahead and bring up the word will. Let's say we wanna expand like the word will underneath the W here. So let's just delete this word will and let's go and hold down, like click and hold down the textile tool and grab the vertical type tool. And we come here and type in will, or sorry, ILL, -L, which we'll just, uh, you know, fill in for the word will, change it to white, and let's just make this a little bit smaller, and let's position this right under the word uh, we. So it looks like we have uh, spelt out will here. And then what I wanna do to animate this is I'm gonna uh, go into, drop down the arrow here, go to animate, click that little arrow right there, and click on scale. And let's animate the scale here. Let's add a keyframe for scale, bring that forward in time, and let's set the scale down to zero. So what's gonna happen is that the letters are gonna scale on individually. So that looks just a little bit interesting, but we're gonna keep it at that. And then we have the word review in here, which I just did the drop in by character preset again, just like we did for the word tutorial. And it's coming in from the side, kind of just like that. So 
you know, once again, the same methods, just things to think about. And I'm only running through this because we have already talked about some of these concepts. So our placement is here and we can add a few text effects to our kinetic typography here. So we can add some further animation. So they're just not sitting there. So what we can do is make sure maybe kinetic is selected and we'll go back to the effects and presets. And I just want to show you guys there's some other awesome presets in here. If we go to the organic folder, uh, we can add say something like a wheat field preset and just drop that right on the kinetic here. And if we scrub through here, you'll see that the text will kind of wave back and forth. And it's just a very nice subtle animation. So it's just not, so the text is just not sitting there doing nothing. And then for the word typography, we can grab something like uh, the preset shuffle. And that's just gonna kind of like nicely just shuffle the text in there and just animate it. And as you can see, you know, it just looks like a very nice subtle way to animate this. And then once all your animation is done for your voiceover, you know, you wanna go in here and just, you know, listen to, uh, you know, what you need to match it properly. And of course, make sure motion blur is turned on for all your text layers and make sure to turn it on at the top. So it's gonna make everything, you know, a little bit smoother. And after a quick render, this is what you should have gotten. In this After Effects tutorial, we will review kinetic typography. So this tutorial was kind of fast because I didn't wanna repeat every single step, um, but this is for the most part basic, but if you do a good job, doing kinetic typography, you're really gonna make yourself stand apart from everyone else because a lot, of, a lot of good kinetic typography comes from design and clever animation. So definitely think about how the animation is gonna tell your story or whatever you're trying to get across. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please be sure to check out my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.